Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me on this wonderful Sunday. It's the first Sunday in the month, and technically on, I usually do my cards in the mail videos on the first Saturday of the month, but we had a blog hop yesterday with my team. Let's go and check it out. But yes, I'm bringing cards in the mail to me, all of the beautiful cards and gifts and everything that I've received over the last month. And I'm sharing them with you. I'm starting with this one because this has actually been hanging on my window that's right there. And this was from a lovely demo in my team, Karen Varley. So she's Dunmark Cards and I'm looking for the box. And she sent me this. She does glass fusing as well as stamping and she's got quite a, a large team. And with the NHS and collecting rainbows, she's been fusing these and she put one in the post to me. And she sells them for £6, I think it is, and donates the money to... Um, the NHS but there she is glass by sorry she's Dunmark cards with faith with stamping up but glass by Dunmark so yeah go and have a look at those and she popped a card in for me as well so they're fabulous so that's going to go back up on my window and then I've got lots of the team have been cashing in vouchers I'm going to bring this one in first because I need to cash in some more stuff that's not quite in stock so this is from my gorgeous Sally Shaw so Sally stampers and I absolutely love this suite so yeah, but I've still got one more item I need to order for her. But it's lovely. I'm going to put that there so I remember. And I'm going to bring these ones in. So these are cashing in vouchers. And these are actually from my international team. So we've got uh, Germany and France over here. So beautiful layering going on. And then this one, I'm going to flip it around like that. So Vanessa put all of her vouchers in there. She had a lot of vouchers. And she'd made little envelopes. Let me grab some and show you she'd put them in there so if you haven't seen one of my videos before and you're like what are vouchers i do loads and loads and loads of recognition for my team i send them vouchers for selling for recruiting for promoting for their anniversary for spot challenges all sorts of things like that and they can turn those vouchers into products that they can use in their business or simply for themselves and so that's what they've all been doing so yeah, they collect them up and I say to them, you know, collect as many as you want and cash them in when you want. And they tend to cash them all in at the start of the catalogue. But yeah, these are all beautiful cards that I've had. I think this one's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of these ones are cashing in vouchers. They are. So we've got Germany, Germany, France, England. And look at that, two cats with their tails entwined. Thank you, Helen. England, England. So those are those ones. But they're lovely, aren't they? So we have such a wonderfully varied um, style of crafting in my team. There's um, well over 400 of them. I have about 150 or 160 in my direct team. And um, I love my team, so I spoil them as much as I can. So I'm going to open this one up. Sorry, Sorrel is outside one of the children's bedroom doors shouting to go in and they're clearly not going to let her so look at this how fabulous is that that's from nelly who is one of my french team and i love this and this was a birthday card for me and she said i'm sorry it's taken so long but it's beautiful and i was meant to meet her for the first time this year at our big stamping team retreat which had to be postponed, so I didn't get to me. I haven't met her yet. It's been years. Um, this one. Oh, look, there's vouchers in there. Oh, I have cashed those in. Um, I'm going to peel it. So, yeah, she'd put this on here. And this is lovely Maria. And she'd stuck them onto there for me. And she'd done them at a cool jazzy angle. I can't remember how she did it. Like that. She'd got them stuck on there. Brilliant. Love that. But, yeah, I need those vouchers. Ultimate recycling. <laughs> In order to redeem them, they have to post them back to me. And then I recycle them. And then I run out. Okay, so I have got this here. This is from a lovely, lovely lady. If you're in my Poodles Car Forum, you will see Helen does the most amazing things. And she saw this card. Now, Pam Peters, curiously, has her studio, and she does this glass fusing, very near to where I used to live in North Wales. So I was like, oh, it's a little bit of Wales has followed me. But I don't know if you can see... They're actually little glass um, nuggets, I suppose, with rainbow hearts. So that was my lovely Helen. So, yeah, Pam Peters designs. And she's in Mochdra in North Wales. But that's from Helen Watson. And then we've got more cards here. So I'm going to bring these in. And then I've got goodies as well. Let me bring the cards in and then I'll do the goodies. So this one is Jeanette, 
who's done this and I love the lots of the layering how how wonderful is that it's just super simple lots of layers right in the center see if you can see that and then a gorgeous card here that wraps all around and so this is from the lovely Jenny who also made these and in here were before I ate them some um, lint chocolate balls and then there were three of these that are just lovely and inside each of them were two Kit Kats, two two finger Kit Kats so that was one for all of us so I might not tell Chris this, that these are my ones <laughs> all mine and Chris's how beautiful and Jenny is so sweet she spoils me she sends me a little something most months I think um let me bring some more cards out so this is a Jenny card as well and I like she's got she's done more layers than I normally do so we've got one two three four layers there I definitely need to add in an extra layer I think just so pretty it all goes together and then this one oh this is from one of the new ladies in my team and that's a Jenny one as well this is the PDF that we had the the COVID-19 charity one who was this from oh this was from Helen who did this one and it's a bookmark I believe oh that card's upside down let me turn it around while we look at it yes it's a bookmark actually it might be a hanger but I love it that it says cat as well as being a moonlit thing just lovely oh no it does say bookmark metal bookmarks yeah, it is a bookmark. That's fine. It'll go in my diary. I have a Kindle, but I do um, have a diary that I work from. This one's from oh, from Heather. So she's in my team as well. Let me scooch those off and bring some more out. I've got loads, loads and loads. There's another one. And another one. Oops. Ah, this was from Helen as well. So, oh, where's it gone? There it is. So Helen's daughter, Susie, who I remember when she was teeny tiny because um, Helen, uh, we went to the same church when I was a child growing up in Surrey. And yes, I remember Susie when she was very little and she makes jewellery. And she is bellabejewellery.co.uk. And Helen put those in along with the card and vouchers as well. So I did very well with the kitty cat thing. Cat card, cat bookmark and cat earrings. So they're very nice. And I think that's what the vouchers came in. And I've got a couple of thank you cards. So yeah, thank you. These are thank yous from, from people who've been shopping with me, these ones. And there are some more around somewhere. I think this one is as well. Oh no, this one. Okay, so this one here goes with all of this which oops I want to bring out and show you and something else which I'm going to show you in a second so lovely Joanne is somebody who has been following me and we have become friends in the seven years since I became a demonstrator and when we were in Athens last year where she lives Chris and I met her met up with her and her husband and she put all of these gorgeous goodies in the post to me um, so we've got olives and I don't know what that is I don't know if that's how yes it's alcohol it's got 38% volume so she sent me that all boxed up beautifully and then we've got some more I'm gonna say well it says Reiki and I thought kind of it was ouzo in Greece, but we've got extra virgin olive oil, which is really good because I can't get hold of the flipping stuff under lockdown at the moment. Honey, which I'm very excited about. And then this most beautiful box, which she tells me housed tea, but she has completely covered it herself. She's painted it all, all along here. And I'm, I'm feeling, and I think that's decoupage, on there with these beautiful rabbits and then the pearls so it's all it's all textured and i don't think i can explain you know i'm not 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 the loquacious um it's very 
very textured it's all feeling and it was a tea bag holder originally and it is now when i can open it why can i not open this today i had to open earlier i don't want to break my nails they're all red and glittery there we go and it's full of these lovely wafer chocolates. So it would have originally had tea bags in, but she painted all the inside as well. That is dedication for you. But yeah, these ones particularly yummy because the milk chocolate, dark chocolate, I'll let Chris have those. But isn't that beautiful? What a wonderful way to repurpose a tea bag box. How lovely is that? I'm so spoiled. I'm very, very lucky. Um, when I saw Joanne, I took some bits and pieces for her. Um, and it was really lovely. And she gave me some baklava when we were there. And then these are the last three. Um, look at that. I have never been skilled in doing that. So this one is from, oh, this one came from all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Noel, thank you very much. But yeah, that's, how cool is that? I wish I had a waistline to wear a skirt like that. And then this one is, ah, oh, this is Liz. This is our new... Uh, country manager for the UK the demonstrated development manager from the UK and then this one is Sally who was right at the beginning hasn't she got a lovely star you might know her Sally Stampers on YouTube lovely star but yeah I just yeah I was very what a lucky girl I am to have all these beautiful things come in the post trust me when the when the letterbox rattles normally it's nothing interesting so to have all of these gorgeous goodies and yeah and I'm going to have a Kit Kat right after I finish filming and then maybe I might have a Greek wafer chocolate <laughs> these are serious they are so yummy um oh look, there's some more oh, I thought they were all dark chocolate over there I've just found another four so I've got six of these to get through <laughs> anyway thank you ever so much everybody for joining me thank you to everybody who has put stuff in the post to me it just you have no idea it's just amazing so, thank you so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.